Howdy y'all. <clears throat> back. Finally back. In the video. Good lord. It's been a few weeks. Uh, been feeling like absolute shite. Uh, I guess it's no big secret that I have health problems and they've really been plaguing me since the new year really the last few weeks have just been last month or six weeks uh, just really really bad but I won't uh, bore you with all that I'll spare you the details of all that nonsense okay I'm kinda winging it here I'm tired I'm sore from shoveling snow I got weird drugs in my system and I'm just not quite myself but uh, some stuff uh, yeah we got uh, a significant snowstorm the other day although I guess we were uh, mother nature took it fairly easy on us we only got about 12 inches of snow here. Um, but considering that it uh, just the week before it was 75 degrees, you know, it uh, kind of sucked. I'm in no shape to be shoveling snow, and I'm actually I'm under doctor's orders to not shovel snow. But, hey, you know, shit's got to get done, right? Well, it's taken, taken us three days four days to get everything shoveled out um, I'm gonna do a little bit of a good news bad news good news bad news roller coaster here um, I got my first pressed books back uh, yesterday day before see shit I don't even know what day it is anymore but uh, a good buddy of mine uh, on YouTube here, a good buddy of ours on YouTube here, offered to press some books for me a while back. So I sent him a couple of things that I was interested to see uh, what the results would be. They weren't necessarily books that I was dying to have pressed, but uh, I just chose a couple of examples of, of uh, the types of... Uh, uh, where that I uh, that I myself was most curious about uh, how they would press out. Okay, so he was sharpening his skills and uh, uh, felt up to snuff. So I sent him some stuff here a few weeks ago. I got it back. Um, he sent me uh, two two lovely gift books uh, that I wasn't expecting of course and they are beauties beautiful purple purple and orange things uh, the first is this one this uh, moonstone comics I guess number one the phantom look at this thing I've never even seen this book never heard of it but look at that beautiful book yes that's a beauty uh, and incidentally, he sent all these uh, to me in, in Mylar, um, even though I didn't send my books to be pressed in Mylar. He sent everything back in Mylar, which is greatly appreciated, buddy. Here's a Howard the Duck number one variant. Um, I have this book, but it's very nice to have an extra copy because I bought the damn thing for its cover anyway it's a beautiful beautiful kind of Howard zombie thing right it's not uh, done by Arthur Sudam uh, who's noted for the Marvel zombie covers but it's done in that style that uh, oil painting style so buddy thank you for those okay what else Oh yes, the backing board project that I was finally happy to get around. 
to uh, sending out here. Uh, I don't know, maybe three weeks ago, I sent uh, uh, the package out to our buddy Kyle Rowe in Scotland. Uh, and the instruction was for him to send it to our Canadian friends and then uh, we'll get it started on the U.S. Well, wonderful. I just uh, hadn't heard anything from Kyle or anyone else for that matter. and I, So I sent him a message. I said, hey, bud, did you get the thing? And he replied, nope, didn't get it. Do you have a tracking number? Well, like an idiot, I have tracking numbers for all kinds of mailings, right? Going all the way back to like two years ago and whatnot. And I'll be damned if I can find the damn receipt with the damn first class international mail and the tracking number. Got all this crap, right? I checked all my pants pockets, all my coat pockets, checked in the car, can't find the damn thing. So, you know, hopefully the package will shake loose wherever it's hung up. But in the meantime, Kyle, I'm, I'm going to get another package ready here today or tomorrow and ship it out again, and we're going to try again. Um, regarding the storm, got up, uh, I guess the storm was Tuesday. Got up Wednesday morning, and holy shit, saw something I've never, ever seen the likes of. We had literally like at least 200 robins nesting uh, in our holly tree. We have a big holly tree. Uh, it's taller than the house, actually, right outside the back door. And uh, they were over here in my, in my neighbor's yard. And, and it was just a phenomenal thing. I had never seen so many robins in one place you know, at one time, and I just uh, blithely and naively went about my merry way. I took some video. Oh, isn't this wonderful? Look at the robins. Oh, this is so wonderful. I got up Thursday morning to a shit apocalypse. A shit apocalypse. Those little <sighs> bitches, not only did they strip the holly tree of every single last berry, which in itself is an amazing feat, considering there's like, I don't know, a hundred thousand berries on that tree. Then they proceeded to shit all over the yard and all over the walk out back. And as the snow was melted, it turned into this horrible shit sludge. <clears throat> well, I cleaned it up yesterday with hot water and everything and you know poured the buckets of hot water on it and just kind of brushed it off as best I could. One of the most disgusting things I've ever done in my life. That was, I, I was retching Oh my God, which is horrible. Not to mention I had to take Petey out uh, into the alley and onto uh, uh, to find like a clear place where he could do his business. Couldn't even take him, couldn't even let him loose in my own damn yard to do his business. There was just so much bird shit, robin shit everywhere. I have never wanted to kill birds so badly in my life. Now, I am a deep, deep, deep uh, hearted animal lover. And I never even imagined killing an animal. But I, I if, if, mm, if I, <laughs> I had it in me to go out there and commit like mass murder on these birds. 
it, it was working on my mind. I, I began to think that, that they were doing it to, to almost like to mock me in a way or something. I know that's not the case, but that's the way my mind started to think. It was like something out of a out of a David Lynch film or something, I mean, or an Edgar Allan Poe story, man. I, I, I could have killed every Robin I got my hands on out there, like a serial killer, you know what I mean? Or a mass murderer. A mass murderer, right? Yeah. I can, ugh, thank God they're gone. They, they picked the tree clean and now they're gone. Okay. <sighs> Calm down. Oh, yeah, and speaking of Petey, he slipped out there in the steps on the damn ice and sprained something, and then he came in the house and he had his right leg up. <sighs> Lord. And when, when anything is the matter with Petey, my whole world just stops, and I never leave his side until he's better anyway. He's, he is better. Um, he's lying over there resting now on his padded heating pad and all he's so spoiled it's ridiculous anyway okay um let's get to these pressed books now it's worth noting that uh you know y'all aren't going to be able to to see you know what the hell i'm talking about with these books but i'll tell you what the results of of pressing again these are my first pressed books i am very very impressed impressed no pun intended um, again I just chose three examples of uh, that had uh, different different types of wear and, and uh, wear that I was most curious to see how they would press out there's no way I can show you here and I, d I didn't do a before video you know to compare with the after I didn't take photos I did scan the books, you know, for my own use, but I don't know how to put pictures and videos and do all that shit, and I don't have patience to learn how, but they turned out beautifully, and uh, even even on his note, he said, hey, sorry about uh, not being able to, to press out the Rawhide, Rawhide Kid 35 very well, or this other one, uh, but they were pretty well trashed. Well... Uh, hizzle shizzle brizzle the thing th th this thing and this other one look like a million bucks to me man it, I, I can see it as plain as day I, the, the uh, uh, improvements of the book and I haven't even taken them out of the bags yet and this wow this is my off the rack Conan 24 it rested for a couple of decades in my unbagged reader stacks, and I would pick it up and just read it. I mean, I wouldn't abuse it, but I didn't care about the condition because I had a you know a nice, beautiful, near minty thing in in the collection proper, and I just kept this unbagged for a couple of decades. And I thought, well, let me send this and see. Guess what? The the cover had so many uh, handling indentions uh, that didn't break color or anything. Yeah, there's a color breaking crease down here on the corner and there's a tear and a tiny little one up here. You know, but that's not what I was worried about. I was, I wanted to see how that much, that much uh, handling wear uh, would press out and my God, this thing, and again, I haven't even taken it out of the bag yet, but I can see. I, I, I'm just, I'm speechless, man. These things turned out so well. I uh, am definitely Im impressed by pressing, and these will not be the only books I ever have pressed. Let me tell you. There's another of our another friend from the YouTube community out there who's offered to press a few books for me, and uh, I am going to uh, grab a, a book or three and uh, package them up and send them to you, buddy. Um, what else? What else? 
Oh, finally. Um, I have a, a few books coming in the mail to try and make myself feel better. Uh, the other day I uh, got on auction sites and uh, got a got a couple of books, including one one of my uh, top ten list for 2017. All those books are on the way, so here in the next week or two, depending how long it takes for them to get here, I'll be posting a excuse me a little bit of a haul video. So anyway, this has probably gone on way too long, but. Uh, uh, hey, thanks for, for the, the good wishes of uh, several folks out there uh, contacted me privately and, you know, checking in on me. And, uh, hey, I appreciate that. Uh, Shannon, especially you, bud, uh, you're, you're, you're a good pal. You're a good pal of mine, and I, I appreciate your concern, but I truly do. So... That's it for today, I guess. Uh, it's good to be back. And I'll talk to you all later. See ya. Bye-bye.